Ah, Back to the Future. Such a great movie. Lots of fun and shenanigans. And of course, an awesome 1980s design supercar. Which, according to Wikipedia, was only in production for a few years. And was also an underpowered car. So, I guess it's a good thing that it found its limelight as a time machine. And so... Today, we'll be looking at the Takara Tomy Arts 164 scale DeLorean Gacha. Welcome to Tits Tatten Trinkets, doing the reviews that no one views. Out of the machine, it looks like this. Nothing much to see except for what seems to be a standard Takara Tomy Arts capsule. I will say this though, the car only just fits in there. Let's crack it open. Okay, we have a catalogue. There are four types available, and each comes with different bonus parts. I have the one from part two, and it comes with a mini hoverboard, and a sticker sheet. Cool. The stickers do look pretty intricate. Give me a sec to just slap them on. Oh, not badly done if I do say so myself. The hoverboard is a teeny tiny little thing. The stickers plainly have hoverboard written on them and it looks accurate enough, even having the little raised hover circles on the bottom. But. It doesn't seem to have any way to interact with the car from this first glance. Okay. Speaking of the car, let's have a look at that. Initial impressions are that it's very light and a little bit cheap feeling. It's about the same size as an average matchbox Tommy car car and completely made of plastic. It does roll pretty well. The color is great and manages to pull off the brushed metal look of the DeLorean very nicely. I don't think it's painted on the top, so they must have used some silver plastic for this one. It's a great choice of plastic. Colours on the back are a tad lacking. Only a little bit of black trim and a white Mr. Fusion have been painted. Along the sides, it does have important parts coloured well for definitions, such as the cabin and some of the cable lines. Oh, and the lights on the back. The sticker has a license plate motif. And you can vaguely make out California up the top there. But there is no effort to jam in an out of time on that license plate. Generally though, the design doesn't need much paint and that's fine. And the molded details can be seen very clearly. I noticed that this uh, extra accessory seems a bit weak for this one. Part 1 has flame effects. Part 2 hover version has a uh, flight stand and part 3 has... Oh, nothing except for engine -y pieces. So, with the others, the effects work with the car, but playing around, there is no way to connect this hoverboard to the car. Not even a way to make it kind of hover by the back or by the side or something. Oh well. Underneath the car is engine details and a plug for the flight stand, if you happen to have the Part 2 hover car. Comparing it with my Back to the Future Transformer crossover Gigawatt and the MicroMaster Swindler, you can get a decent feel for it. Ah, it looks alright. So, how do I feel about it? While not a terrible failure, and I do kind of like it, I feel that for the 400 yen I paid, it feels a little bit, uh, cheap. The hoverboard is nice, I guess, but there is no way to do anything with it. It looks too small for any figures I have, and it doesn't interact with the car at all. I suspect I'll end up losing it somewhere under the couch or something like that, assuming I ever get a couch. My guess is that license fees for Back to the Future and the DeLorean must be pretty high. A shame, especially considering the DeLorean competition that is currently out there. Soon enough, Bandai released their Exceed model take on the capsule DeLorean. So, with that in mind, how will Takara Tomi Arts' one hold out? Stay tuned for the next video to find out. Dun dun dun. Thanks for watching.